And also one uh, big wave or uh, ripple uh, was actually created also by the Broadway director, Tony Spinoza, who is now um, bringing to life the uh, new musical uh, about the singing revolution. And it has been actually called Peaceful Resistance uh, yeah. <laughs> Peace. Yeah. Uh, so can you say some words about that? Like what's your part in that? And I saw some videos and um, people talking about it. It sounds like very exciting. I also saw uh, some choreography about it. And uh, of course, it's very different what we Estonians would kind of imagine. But mm -hmm. I think it's an amazing uh, way to introduce our culture and our story and history to the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, of course. And I, I'm not going to speak on behalf of Tony, obviously, but um, because I'm my involvement is, again, as a brand manager. So all the visuals that you kind of see, um, my task initially when I was contacted by Tony, and we've again known each other for, for some time, um, actually through the Estonian Cultural Days. I think that's where we first met. Um, so my initial task was to listen to the music and and figure out what could be the, the brand and the visual representation of this production and how to bring it to American audiences. And, um, and then of course the web design that went with it and then the social media. And then together we, we came up with the initial social media strategy and plan to, to publicly start you know, creating momentum and community around it. Um, because with like with many, many Broadway productions, I mean, I, I know firsthand or, um, from my, well, secondhand from, from my clients, I know that, you know, there's productions that take 10 years and there's productions that take four years and there's productions that get made in six months. And and all of these, they, they have very different stories, but in almost any case, it's important to have that online community already just because like with any other business, having the following and having the passion behind it um, is, is a value and especially in entertainment world. So being able to prove that. So that's kind of how I got involved. Um, so Singing Revolution, yeah, it's a Euro pop inspired musical with Euro pop score. And, um, and I think it's a very energizing, energizing music created for for this market here to tell a historic, you know, inspired by historic events, a story that talks about keeping your culture alive despite the oppressive regime that the you know, Soviet Union regime was. Um, keeping it alive, um, there's, um, if you, I think, I don't want to say too much because I can't, but I think if you read the script on the website, you'll see that the story is really, it, it, it highlights the family values that I think so many Estonians keep to their heart. Um, that culture isn't something that needs to, even, so even if you're not allowed to wave your flag proudly, culture lives on within your family and within your heart. And it's the, it's the folklore songs or it's certain traditions, certain sayings, and I think that's really what the music going encapsulates really nicely. Um, and of course, it has all the historic uh, major events that took place in the you know late 80s and early 90s in Estonia, such as you know the Tompea um, Tower kind of protection, where really young you know adults they will go and protect the tower, and and for the first time when they switched out the flag from the Soviet flag to Estonian one, such a you know major event or the night song festival you know when when tens of thousands of people gathered and and started singing these songs of national importance um without sometimes without even any conductor um just because these are songs that have been passed down and and there were also a lot of you know new songs by Alo Matis and then many other estonian composers at the time um but it, it, i think the musical the story is is amazing and especially taking the current times and what's happening in the US and what's happening around the world, right? There's a lot of, uh, you know, unease um, in political spectrum, um, telling a story that says that, you know, doesn't matter where you align politically, um, the, the culture lives on and it lives in your heart. And I think that's also what brought Estonians together. And that's really, I think, where all of us, doesn't matter where we come from, where we should find the sense of unity, that it's really the culture 
it's not it's not you know the color of your skin or the political you know views but it's it's about respect it's about the core values the human values that we all have um so i i really look forward to it at the moment it's um the world premiere is currently scheduled for uh spring 2021 let's hope that it you know things get stay okay uh that we managed to beat this um this virus but um currently it's yeah scheduled for spring 2021 uh, in la and then after that we'll see then when we can bring it to new york or when they um or potentially do a national tour um it's really you know we'll take it from there but at the moment yeah it's uh, the, the by the time this podcast goes live the the new music video should be out which is also um, half Estonian and half English, and the Estonian verse actually, uh, it's it. The name is "Never Forget Who You Are," and the Estonian verse really uh, reveals what are the core values that you know this character is there singing about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it sounds very exciting, and thank you so much to uh, go so deep, like also culturally, and you know all of those, like you know what what's the meaning of it uh, on a mm-hmm. deeper scale which is so dear to my heart, you know, as an Estonian living outside, but also in general, I think each one of us doesn't matter where we come from, we need to, you know, um, connect to those core values and uh, keep intact, because that's one thing which will keep us going in the right direction. (laughs) Yeah, and I think that's why, you know, Tony has done an excellent job, kind of um, packaging this unique story in a way that people who haven't been to Estonia, they could still relate to and learn from. Because there's so many cultural things that, you know, to us Europeans, I'm sure when you move to the US, you were at first like, oh, I don't understand why they're doing this or why they're saying this. Mm -hmm. There's so many things that are are so deeply rooted in culture that it, it, it's, you cannot teach anybody a culture within, you know, two or three hours of a Broadway show. So he's done really a great job of making the story accessible and and understandable so that I I think if, you know, when you see it, you'll be able to take away um, something and you'll be able to understand why Estonians at the time did what they what they did and 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 how how, you know, how it came together peacefully, exactly like protesting without, you know, a shed of blood um, left behind. So you know it's obviously it's only it's it's only one side there's also a lot of other you know estonians who did another a bunch of other things but it really showcases how you know us as regular people who are not politicians we're not soldiers or whatever that we can still do so much to to you know raise our voices and 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 showcase unity and showcase resistance um through music and through culture yeah so beautiful Thank you so much. That's just like, I feel like fed (laughs) (laughs) as a social anthropologist. So thank you so much.